What's going on guys? It's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Roblox. Yes, it's almost like we never left. Okay, uh, today we're going to be on Grovetown, Georgia, owned by Grovetown. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of a revival. I think they're going to start getting into uh, hosting routes and things like that, uh, hopefully, because um, if you didn't know, it's the same owners uh, Brawly when they first started and like I said I kind of enjoyed attending their routes and stuff kind of streaming those actually I don't think I streamed that I did a video on it but uh, those videos did pretty well and I'm actually looking forward to uh, attending some routes because uh, it's kind of the first time I ever felt like an actual driver on Roblox uh, if you get what I'm saying uh, because a lot of people attended and you know they were driving correctly and things like that so and, you know, the game wasn't laggy at all. So um, let's hope we can kind of get that started. If you guys are interested in something like that, be sure to join uh, Grove Town. Um, it will be linked in the description down below. Uh, the game will, not the group. Uh, but you can access the group from the game. So uh, I did get my own bus here. Um, not sure. I think it's a, it's here. It is right here. It's a 22 CE um, 501. And I'm going to kind of showcase it here. Um, where did it spawn? Right here. This is it right here. Uh, so I had a choice um, between a Bluebird Vision and a CE. Uh, I chose the newest CE. Uh, it's pretty nice. I love the color on it. Love the um, uh, reflection tape here. Uh, I'm not sure what the little gaps are in between. I'm I guess it's supposed to be like that, but uh, very nice looking bus. Very, very nice. Okay, it's got a cross arm. I'm not too familiar with the Georgia spec. Okay. All right. Here we go. Go ahead and turn the light on in here. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the light. It's not that horrible yellow color that you get. Very nice. I love the startup. Uh, you got your stock Gen X gauges here. Um, same with the parking. Well, parking brake looks a little different, uh, but it's not bad. You got the hand sanitizer tissue box. We got the zone R here to our left. Um, got a radio up top. Huxley fan working. Uh, I probably shouldn't say Huxley because it could very well be theirs, but I know Huxley kind of produces some of these that kind of look like this but uh i don't know it's a fan and it works that's all that matters i got the is that an ac back there it looks like it i think it is but we're gonna keep the light on because it looks nice oh look at this okay oh those are nice i love these tail lights here oops very interesting pattern here. Very nice. Here are the ambers. And the reds. We've got a little bit of a, a camera in the back here. I don't know why it's not in the middle of the door. It's kind of towards the side. I don't know if that's intended or not. Uh, this looks amazing. Um, this is different. I've never seen anything like this with the flashing red there. Um, but here's the stop sign. Cross arm. It's got the cameras on the side here. Pretty nice. I'm going to turn the headlights off since we don't need them. We got the lights going here in the front. I like the idle sound. It sounds so good got a camera there let's go ahead and get started um i did do a review on grove town a long time ago when it first opened i don't know if anything changed or not this is a 2022 oil and gas 49 percent don't have any working signals on the inside that's okay though 
I want to take a screenshot here. Let's see. Should we do it? No, I like it with the lights off. Okay. Let's go. So hopefully if there's a route happening um, sometime soon, I'll be able to record that. Um, hopefully it'll be at a time that I can attend. So, let's see. And we continue this way, we got, uh, it's like an auto repair. Let me go ahead and make a stop here. Got some cars on the side of the road here. They've got the houses, mailboxes with the numbers, nice postals, I like those. So that could mean they might have like an assigned route for you, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. So we got some construction going on here. They got a bunch of little random bumps in the road. Don't know if that's intentional or not. Got some trees almost falling out of the ground here to our left. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Got some fields here. Whoa. I definitely crashed. Okay. Oh, I hope I can get out of this. I think I can. Good. So they got some actual roads with road names. Okay, and a uh, cul-de-sac up here. Still trying to get a, um, a decent intro going. Um, I made one, but it doesn't look the best. I thought about implementing it, but like I said, it doesn't look the greatest, so I don't think I'm going to use it. I'll probably have to end up finding somebody to make me one. Oh, this is going to be difficult. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look at all these little, oh, like things on the road. I don't know if that's done on purpose to make it seem like a jagged road or something. Maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, I cannot drive, can I? I just noticed the route tag as well. Can we change that? It wouldn't even fit. Oh, I think we have like four digits, not three, but. CA4. 
C14. Basketball goal or hoop. Another cul de sac. Trying to find the school. I'm assuming it's probably on that side. If you ask me, that hand sanitizer bottle looks a little too big. It looks fat. <laughs> The overall scenery of the game looks great. I love the fencing here. Love the usage of the curves and the different um, sort of gated communities, kind of like over there. Not gated, but uh, it was. They had like their own custom different driveways with like the uh, slab curbs and everything. Unlike these. I don't know what this little shadow thing is. They got something, like something right there. And it's, I don't know what that is. It's visible and it's casting a shadow, so. Okay. I think I see something over there. We're gonna go over there. Very nice looking bus though. Okay, I see, it looks like a school right here. I will need to get used to this map if they do intend to do routes. Oops. Yeah, look, you can see it right here. It's like something, oh, it looks like a light. Oh, I'm all over the place. So it looks like they have a school here. We'll go ahead and drop off here. Looks like they have a water tower down there along with some sort of restaurant. Not a bad map. I don't, I can't remember if it was like, I don't think it was like this uh, the last time I reviewed it. But I actually think it was completely different. Bus is only this, wait. Yep. Buses go in this way. They probably should put some lines kind of like right here. And then I, I assume you'd make a right, probably put like a little, like maybe two lines or something. Or like two different rows, I guess. But here's the school, not bad. I didn't read what kind of school this was. I'll do it on the way out. That was convenient, pulled out really quick. This was a, let's see, elementary school, okay. And we'll kind of pull into that, uh, I, I think it's a Burger King. We're gonna pull in down there and then wrap up the video. Probably shouldn't be up this far. Uh, right there but it's a pretty decent sized map as you can see 
Not bad. Okay, we're just gonna pull around here and then wrap up the video. Alrighty then. Well, this was a kind of an updated video on Grove Town. Interesting to see what they're gonna do uh, with this little revival here because I haven't heard anything from them prior to this so um the owner just hit me up and was wondering if i wanted a custom bus and i said yes so also this looks like a great spot to get a thumbnail as well okay anyway uh, if you guys do want to check this game out yourself it will be linked in the description um if you guys like the video please leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys next time peace